Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. I'm Nash and today we're in Prague Castle. This is one of the massive things in Prague. So when you're visiting, you need to make sure to come here. So we're gonna be showing you what it looks like, what things you must see, what are the costs. So make sure you stay to the end and make sure you give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. There are several gardens around Prague Castle. These serve the purpose of growing utility plants and healing herbs. One of the first gardens you're gonna see is the Royal Garden, which is inspired by some Italian designs. Next to it, you're gonna find the deer moat, which actually got its name from deers which were being bred here. And then at some point later on, they started to keep some bears as part of the castle protection. There are even more gardens which are accessible to the general public, which you can find on the castle's website and most of them have free entry apart from one which is called the Lederberg Garden which you need to pay to enter. The next big stop is the castle complex. So this was built in the 9th century and it happens to be the largest ancient castle in the world according to the Guinness Book of Records. This has been where all the kings, emperors and presidents of Bohemia, Czechoslovakia and now Czechia have stayed. And then there's the Bohemian crown jewels which are also kept here and you're actually able to see a replica of them. Right in the middle of the complex is the cathedral. This is one of the top monuments you can see from all angles of Prague due to being situated on a hilltop and I think this gives Prague some of its charm. Wow guys, I don't think you can put in words how big this cathedral is. So this is the St. Vitus Cathedral and when you go through the entrance, that's the first thing you see and it's so huge. It's huge, right? And whoever princess with us is always out <laughs> and she's enjoying it because it's so quiet because um, of the whole lockdown situation. There's not many tourists, so I've never seen it like this. It's like pretty peaceful. There's a few people walking around, but it's not too busy. St. Vitus Cathedral is a good example of Gothic architecture with one of the towers which is a height of 97 meters, which you are able to climb when you buy a ticket. Your eye is drawn to the intricate design of the spikes and gargoyles which some say are there to scare away evil spirits but they actually have a practical purpose of draining away rainwater which in turn protects the stone walls. On the other side of the cathedral, you're gonna find some colorful mosaics. Your eyes are drawn to the last judgment mosaic which shows the resurrection of some individuals with Christ being the center of the masterpiece. One thing I also noticed today is there is such a heavy, heavy presence of police and military because this is actually the home of the Czech president and it's also been the home of many kings and presidents in the past. So there is so much military around, especially now because it's evening, I'm around, it's around 7pm and it's like almost uh, completely locked off. When you enter into the castle, you also go through inspections. So they scan for your bag to see what you're carrying, if you have anything which you're not supposed to have. And it's pretty safe, it's a very safe place, but it's really quiet and it's so, so nice. Behind the castle, you find St. George's Basilica, which is the second oldest church in Prague. So you can actually come into the whole castle complex from 6 a.m. to 10 o'clock in the evening. And you can also go in the buildings between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. 
in the winter the opening times are going to be slightly shorter so they sell very different type of tickets depending on what you want to get into so there's one which is called the second a ticket so that means you get access to all the buildings the castle the cathedral another one which is called golden lane so for 350 crown you can get access to all these places and it's also access for the whole two days as long as you obviously come during the hours when it's open and then there's a 700 crown ticket which is for two adults and five children and then there's also discounted prices for the elderly and also for kids under 16 Behind me is something which is called the Golden Lane. I didn't know about it until recently. So this is found in the back of the St. Vitus Cathedral. These arrows which are pointing for you to reach here. To get in, you can use your ticket which you bought for the whole castle or after 6 p.m. you can actually get in for free. There's no more security, the barriers are open. So you can just walk in after 6 p.m. Which is cool. I've never been here, so I'm really curious what it looks like. absolutely love it here so these are really 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 tiny houses in in comparison to me so the thing is people were actually living here were marksmen and guards of the castle and these were actually occupied until World War II now they're used as um, little shops so you can buy Czech souvenirs in there but absolutely outstanding this may be the best part of the whole castle really same road with the little houses if you keep walking you're gonna reach here where there's like um, some cannons so like really really big guns and then next to it there's also an alchemist which I think you can go inside I just try to look into the window you can see like old glasses for making chemicals and things like that so I'm not sure if that's part of part of the tour which you can get when you pay but that's really really interesting the other entrance to the castle is called Rachansi Namesti so you have a small square and you have the castle in the background and as soon as you turn you go like the best ever view of Prague it's like amazing right now it's golden hour it's almost eight o'clock and it's just breathtaking view and you need to make sure to check out the view get a picture in because it's just just amazing check it out just amazing. Prague Castle was just outstanding today. It exceeded my expectations. So if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave us a like, comment and subscribe because we got a lot of videos about Prague, food reviews, places you need to visit, things to see. So make sure you check it out. I'm gonna put a playlist here and we're gonna see you in the next video. See you later. Bye!